So late last week, it was the uh, official last day of uh, the British summertime, which is uh, great because it means the sun's more likely to come out. So um, normally when I do these videos, I, I normally do an introduction before I get to the place, but today the uh, traffic, uh, the transport to get here has been so good, I've had to get one bus, a tram, and then a tram extension bus and I was literally as soon as I got to the uh, bus stop or the tram stop they, they all arrived and, and took me so I've not had a chance to, to do an intro um, but today I'm back in a place where I visited uh, about three years ago as part of um, some training that we had to do uh, with the school and we had to come up to a local primary school up here and do some training um, because obviously uh, teachers don't have enough to do and so basically what these what these things usually mean is that you go and you find all new ways of doing the things that you're already doing which you either then put into practice or forget about or you really put into practice for six months until something else comes along so usually it's a waste of time um, but that was the only time I've ever been up here and uh, didn't leave a great impression to be honest the school was in a, a bit of a, a rough part I think um, I'm not being snobbish or anything, uh, you know, I grew up on a, a council estate, but what I'm saying is that it wouldn't necessarily be a place you'd go, go back to visit. Um, but the reason I've come up here is because I did find a couple of walks. One of them is out in the countryside, uh, around the crags, um, which I was going to do, and then I found this other walk, which is um, it's a historical town trail. So I'm presuming it's going to take me all around the town. I'm hoping there is a little bit of countryside in there as well. Um, it's about eight miles I think so it'll probably be about four hours long um, so yeah so I'm, I'm here I'm right at the starting point and uh, so welcome to Stocksbridge okay so before um, I set off uh, I'm gonna do a little experiment is what I have here is two Greg's sausage rolls now one of them is a normal Greg sausage roll and one of them is vegan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blind test and see if I can tell which one's vegan and uh, which one I prefer if any so let's have a look I'm not, I don't know which one's which they did give them in two separate bags but they didn't write anything on them so but I think you can actually tell by looking at them let's have a look So I think that's a normal sausage roll because I think the vegan one's a little bit pale up there. You can clearly you can tell the difference. That's probably got like egg brushed on it or something. Alright. So now I think I need to mix these up now. Okay. So I don't know which is which now. So I'm going to close my eyes and look for the first one. Tastes like a sausage roll. A little bit dry. Um, I'm going to say on the first test that that's the vegan one. Let's try it again. That's definitely the meat. Let's have a look. Yeah. Um, you can definitely tell. Having said that, I think I prefer the vegan one. Hmm. Yeah, I think if I had to choose between the two, I'd go for the vegan one. I think the vegan one's nicer tasting. You can tell the difference. Um, but the uh, first one, uh, the meat one, just tastes like meat, whereas the vegan one seems to have got um, a little bit more flavour. But there you go.
Right, so this uh, Stocksbridge um, historical trail, first thing it does is take me out of Stocksbridge. So, uh, yeah, deep car, here we come. Right, so this is the old town hall. This is the official start of the walk. And I'm looking for a path next to the Methodist Church, which I'm assuming is this. So I don't think that was the Methodist Church. Um, there's a road coming up here to the left, I think, uh, which I need to go down there. Because it did tell me to pass the clock tower, which is just beyond that tree up there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, a little bit confusing, right at the start. So I think, yeah, we'll just keep on going here and turn left and then I'm looking for a left turn which will take me through these woods and over the uh, rail tracks, apparently. Let's do it. So there's the old clock tower. Still telling the uh, correct time. Well, Google Maps doesn't tell me anything about a church down here. I can't see one and at some point I'm supposed to be turning left to get into the woods but I mean it's, it's something I'm looking for Methodist Church you can Google Maps doesn't know anything about Methodist Church on the actual walking map it's on should be on my right hand side oh, just keep going a bit longer and see uh, see if anything pops up that stock's pretty pissing me off already because it appears uh, I'm already going in the wrong direction. I've only left step one. I mean, it said uh, start at the town hall, walk down Manchester Road towards Deep Car, and then turn left at the Methodist Church. Now, right next to the uh, town hall is an old church, but it's not a Methodist Church. And uh, on the actual map, the uh, the route takes you way past that. But there's nothing on Google Maps about a Methodist church. So I might have come off, I might have uh, turned back too soon. But there's nothing on Google Maps about a Methodist church. But then again, there's supposed to be a cemetery around here. That's not on Google Maps either. Um, I'm looking for something called the Eileen something house. That's also not on Google Maps. So I don't think Google Maps is going to help me today. And with the looks of it, this bloody map that I'm following is not going to help either. How can I go wrong at step one? <laughs> right, back to the beginning. Welcome to Stocksbridge again. I'm not holding out uh, much uh, hope for this uh, directions. We'll see, but I mean, I can't even get started, so that's not a good start, is it? You know, I can't even find step one. I can find the start of the walk, but uh, yeah, I thought I was looking for a Methodist church because that's what it said. And the church next to the town hall, not a Methodist church. So, uh, and then after this, I mean, there's, I need to get down there, cross over the train tracks. Um, but after this, then it's telling me to look for, you know, woodland paths that fork left and all this kind of thing. So, this could be an interesting one. I said before uh, when I decided to come and do this one I was thinking really Stocksbridge because I remember going up there and it seemed pretty grim to be honest um, but right now I mean this could be Buxton or something like that it's very nice very green just need to find this bloody church right back to where we started then former church let's see what it says on the sign It would be helpful, wouldn't it, on the map if I actually told you the name of the church. Right, so it says take the public footpath on the left by the Methodist Church. So I'm just going to take it that this is the Methodist Church. So do I go down here? Is this just taking me into a car park? The security guy there, is he going to come and tell me off? Uh, 
Wait a minute, I'm looking for a footpath to get over the other side. It says turn left at the, uh, by the Methodist church. What church? It just says Methodist church. It's a, it's a, it's a walk, like, it's a Stocksbridge walk. It says starting at the old town hall, which is that, isn't it? Uh, head down Manchester Road towards Deepcar, take the public footpath on the left by the Methodist Church. This is Church of England. Yeah, that's what, because I've already, I've, I've already gone down and I, I just kept going so far and I thought... I'd like, say it's further down, uh, across, if it says near Deepcar... Well, it says towards Deepcar. Yeah, if that's your old town hall, I'd say it's further down here. Because at Backers there, that's your, go on, what's it called? Part of Liberty Steel Plus. Yeah, so there's no public access down there. No. Do you know, I've just walked about 10 minutes down the hill and thought, it's got to be that one and come my way back. Down there. <laughs> Try again. All right, mate, nice one. I can't find, I've looked on Google Maps and uh, I can't find a Methodist church at all down there. But there is there is a map on here but which does look like it, because it goes past the clock tower and that. So maybe I just turned back up too early. Oh, I think it's further down here, really. Is that Manchester Road? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's but See, because there's that new road, isn't there, what goes off, and it's like the lower part of it. And apparently this footpath takes me somewhere that's called Ellen Cliff House. It's point four a mile away from here. What, Methodist Church? Yeah. So are we right to start with? Yeah, it's further down there. Right, so when Manchester Road and New Road, I just keep on Manchester Road. Keep on Manchester Road, Methodist Church is on the other side. Uh, right, it's, and it, it's opposite, right. isn't it? Opposite yeah. Methodist Church. If you get to Jet Petrol Station, right. you've gone too far. All right, nice one. Yeah. Right, start again then. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, God. See, I could edit this video and just cut all of that out and just pretend that uh, I've not walked up and down here twice already. <laughs> I guess this is all uh, part of the fun, isn't it? Oh, look, clock tower. Feels familiar, this. Like I've uh, been up here before. I don't know how the guy uh, found the Methodist Church on his Google Maps when he wouldn't find it on mine. Yeah, it would be helpful if the map actually told you how far, or roughly how far you needed to walk before uh, the next step. You know, even if it was in yards, like it normally is. At least it gives you some idea. But uh, I might just making excuses. So uh, yesterday I ended up watching uh, far too many videos on YouTube um, of a guy who basically goes around with his action cam and stands outside police stations and other government buildings, job centres and things like that, councils um, and just films them and uh, and then uh, gets into confrontations with uh, you know the police and the security who come out and tell him that he's not allowed to film uh, incorrectly, uh, he completely is allowed to film um, and he knows the law as well so uh, they're quite amusing but I did end up watching hours of them and uh, Part of me was kind of hoping that security guy was going to, like, as soon as he saw me walking down, was going to turn around, uh, get out of his car and tell me to bugger off and that I can't film and all that kind of thing. Uh, that would have made for some interesting content, wouldn't it? Not sure how good I'd have been in that situation. I mean, I know I am allowed to film, but, uh, what's this? That's not it. Now, it would have made for... Uh, an interesting title, maybe some clickbait, and I uh, might have got a few more views with a title like, you know, security guy tells me to stop filming uh, instead of visit Stocksbridge, which has a very limited appeal, I'm aware of that, but you see these are the strange Covid-19 times where travel is more or less uh, impossible, hence why I'm not in you know, the Thai islands or Cambodia or Vietnam or somewhere in Europe and instead I'm at Stocksbridge.
What's this? Is this it? Where's the bloody church then? Well, nowhere on uh, my Google Maps does it show you a church or even uh, this jet station. So there are lots of public footpaths going down there. Though. I can't see a church anywhere. There's another public footpath coming up here, but again, where is the church? Apparently the church is on the right hand side. So I'm just going to keep walking until something... Another public footpath. Oh, so far, I'm not, uh, not going to give this one a good rating, this map. So, according to all the shops, Deep Car Farm, say Deep Car Windows, I suggest that I'm in Deep Car. Still no sign of a church. I mean, you think, you think the church would still be there, don't you? It's not like it says turn left at the, you know, fish and chip shop that could have closed. So. I think I've gone too far. I mean, look at this, another one. Well, I'm going to go as far as this jet station, petrol station, that also isn't on the map. Um, if I've not come across the church, I'm going to turn back and go down one of them public footpaths, but then I, I'm screwed after that. Don't know how to, where, where the rest of the walk's going to go. There's no church here at all. Right, well, I'm just going on and on. There's no sign of a church anywhere. It's ridiculous. I don't know why that guy got it on the Google Maps because I typed in church, typed in Methodist. Just nothing coming up at all. And I couldn't see one. And I definitely think I've gone too far now. So uh, I took off the... Uh, went on to the public footpath. But pretty sure that I've gone too far. So now I'm going to go back on myself. And hopefully I can find the uh, where I needed to be half an hour ago. What a great start. Oh, what's that? Look at that. Oh, it's a duck. I've got a funny feeling this walk's going to be a complete disaster. That's nice, isn't it? Right in the middle of the footpath. Dirty shits. Right in the middle of the footpath. I had very close to stepping in that. That'd be just about... <laughs> summed up the whole start of this walk, wasn't it? Getting lost for half an hour on step one and then treading in a massive pile of dog crap. Honestly, some people... It's not even in the side, you know? It's right in the middle of the footpath. Fresh and all. Like they took some getting off. And what I'm looking for is a bridge over the rail tracks. Oh, I can't even see them. Not really here. Maybe that's a bridge, but there's no rail tracks. Hey, 
Um, do you know if there's a bridge further up what crosses the rail tracks? There is. Then it takes you to Fox Valley. Right, okay, I'm looking for something called uh, Ellen Cliff uh, Ellen Cliff House. Mm, not know that. And then uh, walk through Ellen Cliff wood, wood onto Wortley Road, Deep Car. So, do you know if that's going in the right way? Yeah. Don't know. <laughs> I've walked up and down here, but looking for a turn off about 20 minutes and I still can't find it. I'm, I'm doing a walk and like this is step one of the walk and I'm, I can't get on it. I'll give this a go and so there's some there's a bridge over what crosses the rail tracks just up further up. It's not a bridge, it's just a walkway, but then it goes on to a new estate and it then goes on to Fox Valley. Right. So I don't know where Wordley Road is from here. I'll go I'll, I'll check it out anyway. I'm I'm not in any rush. Are you walking straight down? Uh, just uh, so if you're on this side on way down just be careful because there's a massive pile of dog monk right in the middle of the footpath so uh, just be careful <laughs> thank you well there's the train tracks and i was hoping to find a bridge that went over them but according to that woman it's not really a bridge so i don't know if i'm still going in the wrong direction I've nearly run out i've run used 50 percent of my gopro i've not even gotten to bloody walk yet What's this here? Well, I was thinking for a minute then it might be the old Methodist church, but that's supposed to be on the other side of the road. There's some public footpath signs here, so maybe uh, this will help. I need some help. It actually doesn't say cross the bridge. It just says cross the rail tracks and then head into the woods. Where path folks take a right. But hell, am I actually getting back on track here or what? I said back on track. Samuel Fox Avenue. Certain that's not the uh, busty 80s glam model. I'll find out who Samuel Fox is. I think I read somewhere. Didn't Samuel Fox invent the umbrella? Was the umbrella invented in Stocksbridge? Right now, what do I do? Oh, this is a bloody nightmare. Cross over the rail tracks and head into the wood where path forks take a right. I mean, does it mean take a right or does it mean just keep going straight on like it sometimes means? It says head up through the meadows. I mean, it gives you these things, head up through the meadows uh, to Ellen Cliff House. Like, as if that's some historical place that no one around here knows what it is. Neither does Google Maps. Where am I going here? At least it's not pissing, huh? Is that Ellen's house? So give her a shout. Ellen! Is this going to take me in a full circle around the meadow? Looks like it. <laughs> I'm actually really liking this walk, this is great. I might just randomly walk around the field. <laughs> That's basically all I've just done. Literally just walked around the field. There's no way in there. Oh dear. Stocksbridge is nice, isn't it? 
but so far the loop around this field has been my favourite part and that was really nice. Okay so this makes sense now doesn't it? Coming in here and it says to turn right. Okay then. Whew. This is where I start gasping now. I've not got much drink as well, I forgot to buy my usual uh, energy drink, only well, not water. And I feel like glugging that down already. Alright, I can't see anywhere further up there, any further paths. The only thing I can see is this. But I think at the end of here is a gate. So I don't know what's going on. But that's the uh, right, what now? We do not wish to shoot your pets, but you may force us to do so if they attack our livestock. That's a lot of steps going up. There's nothing. Uh, I mean, it says public footpath, but then so is this. And this looks like it's going somewhere. I'm looking for this Ellen house, but is that up there? Uh... Right, so of the two options, I decided to walk along uh, this footpath. Oh, because I've just got a sneaky feeling that this is uh, going to be the, uh, I mean, I've forgotten her name already, whoever that woman's house was. Um, and that takes you further up towards Penniston. Oh, that's nice. You can see our Stocksbridge uh, clock tower way over there. But you must be fit to live in Stocksbridge because it's it's all built on a, a hill. At the, bot at the bottom is the kind of town with all the where all the main shops are and stuff, and then it just goes way uphill. Look at that there, that big building there. I think that's. I've just been speaking to a girl walking a dog and she said that it used to be a church and uh has been converted into flats so that's that's why then but it's still on the wrong side of the road right let's see where this brings me i think i'm going to set off some dogs um around here i did spot someone walking along here and hearing some dogs going crazy so i think that's good yep i can see him he's already barking doing his job that's just a nice place to live isn't it nice views over the town is it a town a village <laughs> Definitely not stalking that one. Well, would you believe it? Eileen Cliff. Watch. So this is it. This is Eileen Cliff. This is the place where no one's heard of. I mean, why would you have heard of that? It's just a house. It's a nice house. Pond <clears throat> there, look. Oh, yeah. Bar in there. <laughs> well, so I found Eileen Cliff House, which means that for the first time on this uh, walk, which I've been now on for an hour, I'm actually uh, on the right path. It's good, isn't it? So, according to uh, my map. Ellen Cliff House is one of the first and oldest farms on this side of the valley. 
in Elmcliff Wood look for mature oak, beech and sycamore trees and watch out for the impressive display of bluebells on the western side of the woods in spring. Well I didn't see any of that because I was too busy concentrating on where the hell I was. Um, so yeah, Elmcliff House, one of the first and therefore oldest farms in Stocksbridge and yet people don't know about it. <sighs> Learn your local history. Stocksbridgian, Stocksbridgians. So this is uh, Ellen Cliff Wood. And apparently this is where I need to look out for mature oak, beech and sycamore trees. So I'm not going to point them out to you, I'll uh, let you spot them. <clears throat> well, this is pretty nice, isn't it? This is not the uh, Stocksbridge I remember from three years ago. Again, got the whole place to myself. Train movements can approach this crossing silently. It's a bit sneaky. You'd have thought they'd have made as much noise as possible, wouldn't you? Reminds me of uh, Stand By Me, Train Dodge. Going back the way I came, so I'm presuming I'm going this way. Come on, Teddy. No. Uh -uh. I'm gonna dodge it. Come on, Teddy, man. Get off the tracks. You're crazy. Train dodge. Dig it. Train! Oh shit. And uh, now this is the main road through to Stocksbridge. Turn up the car road and walk up the steep hill. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that's not steep. I'm from Sheffield, mate. This is nothing. Well, it's not the steepest road in the world, and parts of it have uh, did flatten out. But bloody hell, it's going on forever. Okay, seriously, this road is never ending. I keep thinking I'm going to uh, wait until I get to the next turn off before I have uh, some water. But bloody hell, it's pushing it is. I guess this road literally leads right from the bottom of Stocksbridge, right up to the very top. It certainly seems that way. Right, I'm hoping that just around this bend is the right turn that I've been waiting for for the past 10 minutes. Finally, that's what I've been looking for. 10 minutes uphill. So I'm going to sit on this wall and have a big glug of water. Still not managed to find a shop though, so I can uh, top up. But definitely need a drink now. So the next set of instructions, it says uh, keep walking on here, then turn left onto Coal Pit Lane. So I've just had a look on uh, Google Maps, just to give me some idea of how far I need to walk. Um, there is no such thing as Coal Pit Lane, according to Google Maps, so... Uh, could be one of them uh, moments again. So it turns out there is a Coal Pit Lane, after all. And uh, I'm just coming onto it now. Confusion lied because right at the bottom of this road, um, if you turn right, you're on Broomfield Lane. If you turn left, you're on uh, Coal Pit Lane. And Google Maps was just showing Broomfield. 
So yeah, that's Broomfield. And that's Colpit. This is where we need to be. Okay, so I just come out of that public footpath down Stanley Road, all you pole well fans, and then literally cross over the road and straight down another footpath. Right, so I've just passed a, a right turn, or a path to the right, and apparently I need to take a second one to the right, which should be uh, opposite a footpath sign. That's what it says. So, just tons and tons of flies and midges and everything everywhere. Right, I guess that's this thing then. Oh, there's a bench there. I'm going to keep going. And I'll find a better bench than that. Not sure about this. Oh dear. Alright, let's see what this says then. Continue down the public, public put path. Uh, second path on the right opposite is the sign. Follow the path through the wood over the bridge up the steps to cemetery. Well, yeah, there's a lot of instructions. Oh, this appears to be bringing me uh, back into Stocksbridge, which is good in a way because it means I can top up on the uh, on the old fluids. Right, over the bridge and up the steps to the cemetery, the cemetery that according to Google doesn't exist. I'm definitely on the right path now because uh, everything that it says is going to appear is appearing. So at some point I'll be in a cemetery. That'd be nice wouldn't it? All right. Let's have a look then. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, definitely a cemetery. So I don't know what Google Maps is playing at. Uh, it's not just one or two graves, it looks like a decent sized cemetery. Alright, let's find out where we're supposed to go now. So it said turn left towards the clock tower and I'm turning left and I'm like, oh, where is it? I thought it, we were just going to come out to the clock tower. I'm looking over there, I can't find it anywhere. And I turn down, so I, oh, there it is. Let's go and have a look at this then. I'm glad this walk brought me up here. Nanny Hill. That's really cute, I like that. Well, what's it then, to honour... To the honour and everlasting memory of the soldiers, sailors and nurses of this... Or, or nurse of this district who gave their lives for their king and country in the Great War 1914 to 1918 and it's also got World War II victims on there as well and there was, I saw people sat oh maybe this is the entrance can you go in here? this looks like a nice place to go and have uh, a sandwich just underneath the clock tower oh there's a nice bench there <laughs> I've not got a sandwich, what am I talking about? I've just got half a sausage roll left, mate. Oh well, what we'll have to do. I trust the sun to be right behind the clock tower. So you're not going to be able to see that. Anyway, oh, I reckon that's probably about halfway around the walk. Because uh, I've just done a full circle kind of over in that direction all the way around there and then all the way around back here uh, so I reckon I've got to do the same thing again but kind of over that way but I'm not sure because I've not been uh, checking the map um, like I said on the last video I don't check the map and uh, when I'm actually on the walk I just do it like a step at a time so that I, I don't know what's coming kind of thing or how long I've got left so uh, I'm saying I think I'm about halfway around. I have absolutely no idea. I'm not basing that on anything. So, but this makes sense, doesn't it, to be back here at the halfway point? Anyway, it's time for a snack. Yes.